Okay, it's Rob here. Um, just doing a video here to quickly show you how I do knurling with a scissor knurl. Um, there's a lot of different ways you can do knurling with a scissor knurl. Um, plenty of videos on there showing all the various methods, and in most of them they bring the knurl in and get it set it on the job, and then they crank down the old knurl knob until they bite in, and then they um, do their knurling or put it to feed and feed across and that's how they do it. Uh, I was taught differently. I was taught to basically bring the knurl in to centre, get it on the centre position, where the, see the roller engage to centre point, then just screw the knurl down, the knob down by, by finger, finger tight and you move it in and out until you're sure both, both rollers are engaging, as they are now. So in finger tight position, you back it off, spray the job with a bit of, bit of lube, and then you put your lathe in bottom gear of course, slower speed, and you adjust up the knurl knob for the depth of cut you want to put in. So in this case we go from just touching, we'll go up a third of a turn, uh, you can go a quarter, a third, uh, for heavy stuff a third, for light stuff a quarter. So in this case we've got a heavy knurl, we'll go up a third of a turn, quite a bit, roughly. Start up the lathe, bring in the knurl, and you'll fill it by in. Bind into the job. Get on centre, put in the feed, and then feed it across the job. Your feed is your coarsest feed, so a coarse feed at about 140 rpm. And basically it rolls onto the job the same as if you were screwing the, the clamp down. You don't have to screw the clamp down, you just roll the knurl into the job and it will climb onto the job and then it, and you just feed it across as you want to. So when you're done you just back it off. And see what sort of a job we got out of it. Well, there you go. There's your knurl. Easy as that. Now, that could go heavier for sure. I mean, I can come in again now and go over that again. I really didn't put enough pressure on that. This is pretty hard steel. So we will. We'll come in again. I'll lube it. We'll re-engage it again. I'll go down some more. And it will, it will catch on the original knurl. It should. Feed again, <coughs> and we'll feed across. And we've got more load on this time, you can delay this going slower. This is pretty hard steel I'm doing this on, so um, it's machine grade steel, so fair load and feed it. Bit of steam coming off, it's pretty. Pretty hard work. Back it off. Beautiful knurl. Now the other thing too is when you do your knurling, I mean if that was aluminium I would have used kerosene on that. Uh, being steel you can do them dry and it'll quite often do the job. When I do the job I like to do the knurling early in the piece because that way you can then machine up to the edge of the knurl and get a nice clean edge. When you knurl on a, 
on a shoulder like this, if you feel that, that's, that's jagged on the edges. So by basically doing your knurling first, if possible, and then machining up to the knurl, you get a nice, you get a nice finish on the edges. And uh, there you go. That's how I do it. Um, you know, as I said, there's lots of lots and lots of ways of doing it. Um, and uh, you know, yeah, you can use a wrench and screw it down if you want to. Um, there is provision on on this knurl here for a wrench if you want to use it that way. But you can also just do it with finger tight and then roll into the job, like I do. So there you go. Two ways to do it. Get the old wrench out, or just set it up, screw in, and then uh, roll onto the job. Either way, it will work, and uh, it's up to you. Okay, see you next time.